Taylor, you talked a lot about defense as the focus in practice yesterday. How do you think the team responded in that category today? Uh, I, I don't think we did. I mean, disappointing. I mean, give the Nets a lot of credit. Um, they, they brought a great effort on the offensive side, the drives, the cutting, the movement off. The ball, we didn't execute what we talked about yesterday. That's a disappointing thing. I, I got to you know, get better about preparing these guys. I know when you look at the stat sheet, the first thing that jumps off are the turnovers, uh, giving up 31 points off turnovers. How detrimental was that tonight? Uh, very detrimental. I mean, I think we've actually had a couple of games recently where we've taken care of the ball um, better. Uh, but tonight there was a lot of careless stuff in the first half. And then, you know, giving them credit, they started pressuring. And, you know, we tried to play in crowds too much. We didn't make the simple play on the offensive side, and it burned us. Um, you know, but giving the Nets credit, they – they swarmed. We knew that was the the game plan offensively. Is you know play with the easy pass against their aggressiveness shifts on the ball and all that stuff, and we didn't carry that out tonight. I guess how do you categorize the situation that you're now in? I know you're trying to be smart with some of the minutes for some of the guys, but you know now you're thin again with two more injuries. Yeah, we just uh, got to fill up our cup. You know tomorrow. Um, you know a great Bucks team and. I know they're going to be hungry for a win. We're hungry for a win. It's going to be two teams battling. Uh, we've got to bring a better effort tomorrow, and whoever's you know available to play, we've got to go out there and compete even better than we've done the last two games. Uh, you know those guys are feeling it. They know it's unacceptable. We've got to find a way. It's me included. I got to I got to lead better. I got to get them prepared better, and our guys got to go out and play better. That's what it comes down to. We all have responsibility there, and then you know we'll just take it day by day. You know I, I don't know where we're going to stand at tomorrow, but once we get through it, we we know we still got depth that can go out there and compete and be better. On a turnover front, is there anything that can be done to prevent it, or is it just carelessness, or is it just one of those nights that it just didn't go the way you wanted to go? No, as I said, I mean, I thought there was uh, probably some missed windows, um, you know, playing in tight spaces on certain drives, or spacing, you know, feeling behind the drives was definitely slower than in previous games. Um, you know, I credit their defense for sure, but our offense, we didn't get to the three-point line with the same urgency. I didn't feel like we had the pace, um, even though they were scoring shots, like we just – even on stops, we weren't pushing it like we needed to. It had to be like a turnover where we got out and ran. And then the half court when we were moving, we were just kind of stalled out. We were making quick decisions. And then in, there was the other case of we had wide open ones and they were trying to be too cute with the ball. And uh, then there was times that they were pressuring us and, you know, we didn't fight the pressure and we tried to, you know, uh, make a tight rope pass and it turned into a steal. So, again, give them credit. We got to be better. Um, so I think it was a combination of both. Uh, again, going back to, you know, Ja and Jaren, probably because of the soreness and the things they've been dealing with, being able to uh, limit them with minutes. Do you think that's negatively affecting the way you know uh, the team is being able to produce right now? I don't think so. I mean, though, I mean, I mean, Trip had a great night tonight. Um, I mean, despite you know rough shooting night for Ja, I mean, I thought he did a good job with the assists. Um, you know, uh, probably didn't have the pace, you know, with those guys, you know, tonight. Um, but as I've been saying, I think our depth's been doing a good job. We've been playing really well offensively, you know, the first couple of games, um, you know, so that hasn't been our problem. It's been the defense. So, um, I mean, we ended up playing, I think, 12 deep right now. We're kind of feeling who's playing well. Obviously, you know, Marcus got banged up there. Des got banged up there. And different guys had to step up that other guys have been playing a lot of minutes, but we're not making any excuses. These guys have got to go out there and, and play a level that we're expecting of. And some of it's just our pure discipline, you know. So, um, uh, physically, mentally, we just got to lock in more. And, you know, I got, I got to take the lead on making sure our guys are prepared better. Taylor in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of times, I mean, you've already mentioned it, some, some sloppiness with the ball. It looked like a little bit of sluggishness uh, throughout the game. It seemed like Ja really tried to get his teammates fired up in a couple of those moments. I know you kind of pulled him to the side, I think, after, I want to say it was a technical foul. What do you think about uh, what he was trying to do to, to get people fired up in this game and, and keep them engaged. Yeah, I mean, I thought he was trying to, you know, get the guys going. Um, and then it was a delicate balance of, you know, trying to get himself going because, as I said, he was, you know, kind of having a, a rough, uh, you know, scoring night to start there, you know, missing some bunny shots that he normally makes. He's getting wide open, good looks. His three ball looks good, just not falling right now. And, and then he's doing a good job of, you know, hitting cutters, lob guys, um, you know, trying to push the pace and just trying to put it all together. So it was just kind of one of those games, just couldn't get, get it all put together for, you know, all the minutes that he got out there. But, you know, I thought him trying to engage his teammates was, you know, really exciting to see. Coach, um, you guys usually thrive in the points of the paint and the fast break areas um, tonight, not so much. What was Brooklyn doing to keep you guys thriving in those areas? 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, we still scored close to 60 points in the paint. So, I mean, I mean, we're not going to score 70 points every single night. I mean, our three-point shootings, you know, falling off. Last couple of games, we're getting great open looks. I mean, their game plan is to pack the paint, have early rotations from the weak side and the paint, and guys crashing out from the back side. And as I was saying, our reads that kicked to the top were a little bit slow. But when we got out to the corners, I mean, we were just missing wide open shots. Um, we were making the right reads, so they were taking away the paint. So we make a few more of those shots. A little bit different story. We score 60 points in the paint. Make a few. More more threes, double digit threes. Um, but then on the flip side, that's what we're kind of giving up to other teams, you know, uh, close to 50 points in the paint from them. And they, they think 15 threes, you know, we got we got to cut that off. You know, they can't have both. Um, so offensively, I thought, you know, credit their defense, but we were making the right reads when we couldn't get to the paint. We we're just missing those shots. Uh, two tough losses in a row, but you're still five, only five games into the season. How do you gauge when it might be time to mix things up and do something different uh, versus sticking with a, a plan and, and seeing things through? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I'm i not exactly sure what you're – I mean, is it changing starting lives, changing rotations, the depth, all that stuff? I mean, like, there's a lot of things on the table. We have guys, you know, getting hurt in the middle of the game, so we're having to adjust. We're having guys out in the starting lineup, in and out, all that. So that kind of changes things. I mean, Tripp's only been back three games. You know, Ja was out the other night. You know, thankfully he was able to go tonight. So every game's presenting a new opportunity to, you know, try to find chemistry chemistry and starting lineups change, you know, how we've deployed guys coming off the bench in certain sub patterns. We've tried to keep it consistent, minus maybe where J and BC come in. Um, you know, great response by Zach tonight. I thought he actually did a really good job. And then, you know, we just kind of read the game in the fourth quarter, trying to switch a little bit. Wasn't good. I'll go back, watch film, say, could we do something better? You know, I'm in the fourth quarter and get Zach in there. So uh, a lot of stuff on the table. You know, it's five games in. No, <laughs> nothing's, uh, um, you know, racking my head. Like, we got to completely change everything. I mean, I, I think we've been playing some decent basketball, except for the last two games in that second half against Houston. Injury update, uh, De I mean, Dez and Marcus. Yeah, uh, something in Dez's side. Um, uh, so, you know, he's going to get more evaluation uh, tomorrow. And then Marcus, it was a lower leg thing. He's got to get evaluated. So don't know all the details. More evaluation before tomorrow's game. Great. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it.